So if we look at how this scales, this product is really designed for scalability and expandability based on the requirements. So what we have is four different blades that are available, those firewall blades that I was talking about. And, uh, and so these are all one new blades, like I was saying, these are the ones that go on the bottom slot. And they scale in performance from 2 gig to 20 gig. Now, being able to accurately predict what kind of performance you would get in your network is really important to Cisco. So what we wanted to be able to do is look at it from several different metrics to make sure that we weren't giving you some made up number that was best case that you would never achieve, right? That number, unfortunately, has to exist because that's what a lot of companies end up using as a data sheet number, sometimes the only number. Um, it's kind of an unrealistic best case scenario. But in reality, you're gonna see completely different numbers. So what these numbers represent is, is what's called an EMIX test. So uh, we have best case, we have IMIX, which is an industry standard for routing testing, and then we have EMIX, which is what we're doing for protocol protocol inspection uh, testing. And this is what we really needed uh, breaking points help with, is to be able to do these tests to figure out what's the most realistic environment that we will see a customer in. And how can we effectively predict what that performance would be for this box? And so, so we have all three, um, and uh, and they're they're all available for for these products. But this is realistic testing based based on breaking point multi protocol testing. And so when we say 20 gig, it's going to be about 20 gig. Uh, now, if you took best case on this, it would be 40 gig. So you can see a significant difference. Some uh, competitors, when they show their numbers, they show really big numbers. But if they do report IMEX, even just standard IMEX, not EMEX, um, it is a, sometimes a 60 to 70 percent drop in performance. Um, so you see, when you check the data sheets, check the numbers to see if they're they're apples to apples to make sure that they're the same. Uh, for for the IPS, we go from 2 gig to 10 gig. We also do 300,000 connections per second in the highest end box. In addition to that, we do 10 million sessions. So both of those numbers, 300,000 connections per second and 10 million sessions, are industry leading at this point, especially for the form factor. Uh, so if we look at uh, overall what, what the SSP60, the high end one, looks like, uh, we can dig into these details a little bit more. 350,000 connections per second, if we take a competitive box um, that does the same, uh, has the same price point and a similar form factor, and see what that compares to, this box is four times faster, or four times more connections per second uh, than the competitive box. Uh, if we look at 10 million connections and we compare to a competitive solution that can do 10 million sessions, in that case, this is a two new form factor with only one new blade being used versus a 16 new form factor competitive solution with uh, eight blades being used simultaneously. Price point is also uh, four, four or five times more expensive than this car, so considerable advantages in, uh, in that capability as well. And so if we, if we kind of take that together and use a single metric to really compare the two, what we're looking at is connections per rack unit to really understand what that metric looks like from a form factor to a performance perspective. And what we see is uh, we're about eight times the performance density of the nearest competitor. So consider a value in uh, performance as well as a form factor that has to be taken up in the rack space. And so if we translate that into power, uh, this can be looked at a, a number of ways, but the worst case scenario, um, the competitor versus us, firewall to firewall, uh, they use about 12 times the amount of power um, that we use for our product, for equivalent, uh, equivalent capability. In, in a more price point to price point comparison, if you're just looking at throughput and not capacity, uh, in that case, uh, they're at about 3,000 watts, and in our worst, absolute worst case, we were at about 800 watts. And if you just, and that's with IPS, if you're just looking at firewall, it's about 400 watts. So you can see four factors considerably different. Uh, power draw is considerably different. So we've really been able to take advantage of shrinking the box down as much as possible, using as little power as we have to, to make it the, the greenest product we can to be able to go with the green uh, data center, green network initiatives. And then because of that, the, because the power draw is so little, the cooling requirements are reduced as well. So it, uh, it gives you a good a capex because it's a low cost box for the price of what you get, and also a great optics because the operating cost of the box is, uh, is substantially lower. So just, just to summarize, go through, we have two times the connections per second of competitors, We're about four times the connect the concurrent session count, which is uh, really important with those iPads and iPhones and things connected, eight times the rack savings, four times the power savings, 
And, and if we go through IPS functionality as well, which I didn't go into too much detail, our efficacy is considerably better as well. Because this is a full-blown IPS capability and not a stripped down, dumbed down, uh, limited amount and uh, signatures, you know, limited connectivity uh, capabilities, a full-blown IPS. So our efficacy is considerably higher as well. So now I'm going to turn it back to Mike, and he's going to give a live demonstration of the actual performance of the Thank you, Chris. So we don't like to just talk about it, we like to show it. So what I'm going to do now is bring up a live test that we've been running all day here in the booth. Try to at least. All right, so we mentioned 350,000. Sure enough, here we are going 350,000, coming out of 14 game ports on the breaking point firestorm going into the ASA 5585. But this isn't just down TCP. Let me show you what's really happening. We wanted to demonstrate that when Cisco makes a claim, they're not just showing down TCP 350,000 connections per second. We have five protocols running here, as you can see. We have FIX, which is the financial protocol, eBay, Oracle, Facebook, and NetBio. So when they make these claims that you see on the data sheet, they're real. And it's not dumb TCP. There is real live traffic and real application traffic flowing when they're making those measurements. So um, this is just one of many tests that they run. If you want to check out some more demonstrations, feel free to stick around. The box right here, we can show you maximum concurrent connections, 20 gig of bandwidth, whatever you might want to see.